Hey YouTube, it's Justin the Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? Doors for those who have prestige, who promise fortune and fame, a life that's so carefree. She's saying that's okay. Hey baby, do what you want. I'll be your night loving thing. I'll be the freak. So today, uh, we are going to talk about uh, isolator bushings in your stick of your Eaton Fuller transmissions, okay? So what this is, is I'm going to show you how to replace these fuckers. Um, if you can see here, uh, this is looser than a $2 whore, you know what I'm saying, at the whorehouse or whatever, back page slut, whatever you got. You know, this thing would give you herpes or AIDS. So what this isolator does is, is it moves around and it gets loose and all that stuff. And this is a new one. Now it has urethane bushings in it, or it has rubber inside of here, and you can see no hole. So what we have to do, okay, is I'm gonna show you how to fix this. Now, for people that, you guys are out there, you work on big trucks, you wanna know the part number for this kit. It is right there, K3399. Uh, that's a genuine Eaton part. Uh, you can get it just about anywhere. I got mine from Peterbilt because that's where I bought them last time. 18 bucks. All righty, $18, and I'll show you how to fix this. All right, not that big a deal. Uh, let me get on the, on the glovies. So what this is is it has a bolt, okay, and this slides in there like that, okay. And then this, you know, pulls out of there, you want to get rid of that. I'll show you kind of real quick here. Uh, you can see that, you know, the rubber's real loose. So what this does is, is it gives the driver, you know, it'll put unnecessary wear on the transmission and it's just uh, not good. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta fucking fix this. So anyway, you know, using my Crite uh, vise here, I'm gonna work on it out here. We're gonna to have to get we're gonna to have to get old painless out. This is this gets involved. We're gonna get fucking the bridge port running. We're gonna we're gonna do a lot of fun shit here in this. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to get this old rubber out of here. First thing we want to do is burn all this rubber out. So we are gonna heat this up. It's gonna take quite a while till we can get this rubber on fire in there and get the centerpiece out. Then we'll have to chuck it up in the vise, get old painless, and start going to fucking town on it, and then sand the thing in there. Uh, I forgot to do one thing. I gotta go put that other part in the freezer. So you get the gist of this. Uh, you wanna put this in a freezer just so you can slide this in a little bit easier. What you don't wanna do, okay, I did this the first time, is heat this up, then drop this in there, it melts all the rubber out of it, then you're fucking fucked. As you can see, we're pretty much on fire, and we're pushing out all this rubber. I really need a set of torches. I just haven't bought them yet. But these map gas things work pretty good. So there's nothing like fucking fire in the shop. You know, oh yeah, we're on fire now. Uh, we'll let that burn a little bit until it burns all the rubber out of there and, uh, you know, does all that stuff. Then I'll show you what we got to pull out of there. Okay, so what you want to do is grab some center things. And this is the center collar. It is obviously on fire. So you just want to get all the rubber that you caught out. On fire. We still got that burning. So it just creates this rubber dust. Uh, you guys pretty much get that. And then what we got to do is get out old painless and beat this center ring out of there. Now that we got old painless, we got the ripper on there. And we're just going to rip this down like this. We just keep ripping it till uh, 
uh, we get it to, and I just want to go down here like this. Just like and then over. And we just gotta keep chiseling her out. It takes a little once you get it kinda fucking loads of fun here, fellas. You know, old heat and beat. Well, this is more like heat and rip. All right. Now we got to go down in here with this chisel and cut the bottom of it out. I like this one that doesn't turn. Uh, after hitting myself in the face and making my nose bleed and all that shit. We finally got this thing out of here. This thing is not easy. Uh, what we're doing now is just uh, sanding this stuff down uh, in here to get a smooth surface. That should be good enough. Uh, now what we got to do, uh, now that we got this back up on there, uh, what I'm going to do is, hey, what I'm going to do here is just get this a tad bit warm, just so it grows a little bit. Just a tad bit. All we're trying to do is heat it up just a little bit. We don't want it too hot. Okay, that's heating up. Now, let's go get uh, our piece here. I'm gonna let that. Okay, we got our piece out of the freezer and we wanna beat this. This heat and beat. See why this is so hard to get out? Jesus Christ. got that about in there. Well, at least we know this is a good vice, right? I mean, we done beat the shit out of this thing. I'm sure that there's a dude out there that does these every day. Just laughing. Alrighty. Well, we got that about in there. 
this has no variance of what we got to do here. So, all right, now all we got to do is drill the hole. Just want to drill this out. And this is a three quarter inch hole here. So what I'm doing is just going nice and slow because I don't want any heat. Kind of. It kind of jumps all around. See, we got it too hot. Uh, that's that drilled all the way out and I'll show you what you got to do next there. So we got that Then we just want to have this face in the back And push this in just like that. We're gonna put this in here uh, This one in here Take our bolt Stick it down in there Tighten this up. All right, that's nine sixteenths and a half. Oh, other way, stupid. Other way. There we go. We'll tighten this up. Now, when we put our shifter back in, you know, it's a lot more solid in the shift throw. Well, you can see here that we have more, uh, it's not so loosey-goosey left or right. And that's how you change one of these things. Uh, I know it didn't look the coolest. Uh, I didn't do it the best. Uh, that's how you uh, heat, beat, and completely fucking foobar that fucking project. But we're fixed. Uh, now all we got to do is uh, pick up the transmission. And uh, that'll be ready tomorrow. And get ready to bolt the bell housing on it. I'll probably bring you along for that. Uh, hopefully I can have it done before Jim gets here so we can lift this thing back up in there. But you saw that's what we're getting ready to do. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to replace one of those isolator bushings in your stick so if you guys are out there and you have a stick that's fucking real loose i mean you can see for 18 bucks uh a fucking drill bit uh because it got stuck and hit me in the fucking nose that's why i got a cut on my fucking face so it, you know it's blood sweat and gears down here at uh justin Sergio trucking this week but uh like always guys uh Thanks for watching. Go check out the Patreon account if you want to get in the tool raffles, online tool vendors. Uh, if you want to see any of the tool or buy any of the tools like this Capri Vice, I would recommend it. I done beat the fuck out of it today. She is sturdy. Uh, what else we got? Uh, go to the snaponjunkie.com, purchase your t-shirts, hoodies, all that jazz. Uh, check out Instagram, Facebook, you know, all the bullshit. And uh, like always, Thanks for watching, and I gotta fucking go.